Hello everyone! Welcome to IDP TV. We are your go-to channel for anything and everything about studying abroad. I am Ara. And I'm Ki. And we are your IDP Education Counselors. Right now, you are watching our Pinoy Study Abroad Guide to being an international student in the UK. We will talk about some of the top courses and universities preferred by international students coming into the UK, tuition fee, living costs, and the requirements that you need to submit to kickstart your study abroad journey. Are you excited to learn about the UK? Here we go! Let's get to know the various courses you can take in the UK. Our team at IDP has a wide variety of university partners and courses. And yes, almost every university in the UK is linked with us. If you have high goals for a business career, the UK is one of the best countries to obtain the training that you need. We have partner universities who belong to top 1% of global institutions as a triple accredited business school in the UK. Most business programs have consultancy projects as final assessments. This means that you get to partner up with a company in the UK and contribute to solutions involving the business. Here are some of the universities that offer business courses. Science and engineering graduates in the UK are in high demand today thanks to their world-class universities and world-famous culture of innovation. Studying there allows you to specialize as you go. You'll be able to learn in facilities where most recent discoveries are being made alongside the people who are actually producing them. The United Kingdom is the finest environment to develop skills and mindset required for success. Here are some of the universities that offer science and engineering courses. If you are interested to study law, there are two pathways for international students. That is to be a barrister and a solicitor. A barrister is a type of lawyer who can provide specialized legal advice and fight a case in both higher and lower courts. Meanwhile, a solicitor is trained to prepare cases, provide legal advice, and represent clients in lower courts. Just note that if you plan to take law in the UK, you will have to practice it there. Here are some universities that offer law courses. The UK has produced some of the world's top industries for creative workers, ranging from humanities and culture to literature and history. If you want the ultimate flexibility to study what you're passionate about while traveling the world, the UK is a truly perfect destination to spark your imagination and career. Here are some universities that offer social science courses. Are you familiar with Sarah Burton, the creative director of Alexander McQueen? Or Alessandro Sartori, the artistic director of Zegna? There are just some of the notable alumni of our partner university. If you want to learn how to express yourself and capture visual ideas while climbing the career ladder, the UK is the best place to start. Here are some universities that offer creative arts courses. Now, let's get to the most crucial part of studying abroad, your expenses. Most of you may be wondering how much our services are and if universities have application fees. To clarify, all our services in IDP are free of charge, including consultations. We won't charge you a single peso. And most universities in the UK do not have application fees. Apart from university application, you will also need to take the IELTS. An IELTS UKVI exam costs 12,720 pesos, and a regular IELTS exam costs 12,350 pesos. To make things more convenient for you, you don't have to go anywhere else for the IELTS. You can take your IELTS on computer in our offices. Next, how much would you need to prepare to study abroad? Again, this will depend on your location, lifestyle, and course. To give you an idea, you may refer to the table shown on your screen and you can also take a screenshot for future reference. Now, I'm sure you're looking into scholarships and discounts available for international students. Well, we've got some good news for you. Our partner universities offer 10 to 30% tuition fee discounts. Some are automatic discounts upon acceptance while some are merit-based. This means that having good grades is a must to be eligible for it. 
You may also look into external scholarships like the Shevening Scholarship Program. This is open for students who would like to pursue their masters in the UK. Since this is a fully funded scholarship, having a good background will be an edge. They are looking for individuals with high grades, impressive work background, and those who have done some volunteer work. We know this is a lot to take in, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Your IDP education counselors will assist you throughout the application for scholarships. When applying to universities, the most essential aspect is your requirements. Here's an overview of what you will need to prepare. Number one, your transcript of records and diploma. You may request these from your current school. Two, reference letters. You will be asked to present an academic recommendation from your professors, teachers, guidance counselor, or anyone from your school that could write about your academic achievements. It can also be a professional recommendation from your current or your previous supervisor that could write about your work achievements. Three, personal statement. This is where you will talk about your background, who you are, your achievements, your interests, or community involvement. You have to captivate the university's attention and prove why you deserve a slot in their program. It may sound challenging, but your IDP counselor will be guiding you throughout the process. Four, your passport. Make sure that your passport is still valid. You also have to double check the spelling of your name in all of your documents. It should be the same as what's in your passport to avoid any complications in your application. Five, your English proficiency exam. The IELTS is required if you want to study in a country where English is their main language. If you apply with IDP, you don't have to worry much about this because you can take the IELTS at any of our offices. Last but not the least, you need to secure your student visa. This will serve as your gateway to study in the UK. Here at IDP, we will help you with your application. You can also check our next video to know more about the UK student some universities may ask for additional requirements depending on your desired course. For instance, if you are applying for arts and design courses, you may need to submit a creative portfolio. I know this may be overwhelming, but again, don't worry. We will guide you throughout the process. We will make sure that your requirements are correct and complete before submitting them. At IDP, we provide free services to help you with your study abroad journey. Your IDP education counselors will guide you every step of the way. From choosing the perfect course, assisting you with your university application, up to pre-departure and onshore activities. Still having trouble deciding? You can check out our previous video to learn about why the UK is the best study destination for you. And again, IDP services are free and we can help you become an international student in the UK in three easy steps. First is to book an appointment with an IDP education counselor through the link on the screen. You can also message us on Facebook, Instagram, or visit our website idp.com slash Philippines. Second is to prepare your school application documents and requirements. Third is to accept your offer, complete visa requirements, and pre-departure orientations. It's that easy. So book an appointment and begin your UK study journey today. Browse our YouTube page for other study abroad videos. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok so you won't miss out. Visit us and our fellow education counselors at an IDP office near you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on all our videos. Drop your comments below and we'll, we'll see, see you again soon! soon. Bye! Bye.